Hey guys, welcome back. I am here today with a Marine. I feel like sometimes I should like, I'm supposed to put my head between my knees when Marines are around, like they're so badass. So Anthony Gasparini is here today with me. Hey, Anthony. Hello. Thanks for being on here. And I totally joke about the like head between my knees thing. Only, I mean, everyone is super, I admire everyone in the military, but my brother was a Marine. I was army. So, you know, he was always like, you know, what army stands for, you know, and he'd let me know. Aren't really. I feel like it's always a stereotype because I feel like Marines always get a bad rep just because there's like one or two out there that it actually happens where they (laughs) do something they're not supposed to. Uh But I mean, I feel like I, I guess good you don't really, when you're in, you don't really think about it that much. And then when you're out, you're just like, yeah, that's what I was, I right. guess. Plus, yeah. I was also on the, avi- the aviation side of it. So. Ooh, okay. So let's get started and just hear more about you, like where you come from. And uh, we'll get to like where you are right now. That's a whole nother topic. But uh, tell us like a little bit about you and where how your, where your journey has come to, to get you here. Well, where do we start? So you already know my dad also. Yes. We had Uh, Michael Gasparini on here, uh, probably a couple months ago. So everyone should check that out. Yeah. Um, so I was born in Jacksonville, North Carolina, you know, everyone's favorite Marine town. Um, I was there for, I guess about a year. Uh, then I lived three years in Vincent's Indiana because that's where dad ended up getting a station for uh, recruiting then we moved to Fort Knox Kentucky and lived there for about three years and then we moved to Okinawa Japan lived there for about four years and then we moved back to Jacksonville North Carolina and I was there for roughly about 12 years before I enlisted myself Um, I was having a rather difficult time getting like I was said push forward in the in the service process in Jacksonville. So my dad ended up getting stationed up in Fort Lee, Virginia, and he knew some people up there. And so I went up to Virginia and depth in up there and uh, stayed with him for a little bit, getting ready to go to boot camp myself. Went to boot camp, uh, then had you know like your ten days off. <laughs> mm-hmm. Went to uh, MCT and. Uh, after Paris Island, South Carolina, for boot camp. I went to MCT at uh, Camp Geiger. Uh, After that, went to my first school, which is A school, which was in Pensacola, Florida. That's where um, you start out for aviation, any kind of aviation electronics, or just in general, that's where they send a lot of their aviation Marines. Um, After A school, it was called like ATT it was like the first like month or two while you were there and then ended up doing um C or not C school we still had strand they called it strand which was like AE which they called like aviation everything or something like that before you get broken down into your MOS and then after you finish your school in Pensacola they give you some options of different platforms or whether you're going to go O level or I level uh, I decided to go O level and went with uh, the Osprey. Uh, I was an aviation electronics technician for the MV 22 Osprey aircraft. And then you go to C school, which was like the other side of Camp Geiger, which is the air station. So I went back to Jacksonville, North Carolina. And that was about a year of school. And then after that, finally uh, got to go to the fleet. My first station was in. Camp Pendleton, California. And I was with the unit uh, 164, VMM 164. I was with them for about a year and a half, deployed, uh, went over to Kuwait, and then came back, had a little time off. And, you know, I didn't think it was too bad. So they mm-hmm. gave me the opportunity to go to another squadron, went over to 364, and deployed back to Kuwait. Uh, came back, spent my last year in uh, like tool room because I knew I was getting out at that point and just basically setting myself up for when I got out, um, focusing on some like things that I might want to do, like schoolwork or whether it was pick a job or something. Right. Uh, got out last year, uh, February 
16th, 2021. Mm -hmm. And came to Illinois. I uh, wanted to be closer to some of my uh, extended family as well as my immediate family. Uh, my dad's literally like an hour south of me. Uh, decided to get a house. Uh, found out I was having a baby. That was also <laughs> exciting. That is awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> figured that out. Went back to California. <laughs> Picked up both my uh, girlfriend and <laughs> future child. <laughs> Fun. Uh, drove back to Illinois and decided to get a house, start a job. Did that job for about a year. Got some new management, decided it uh, wasn't for me anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and finally decided to push me to go back to school. Might as well use my GI Bill. I have 10 years to do so. Uh, I had originally gone to school before I joined, but I got bored and joined the Marine Corps. So I had like 26 credits. So I'm using that. I'll get 13 credits this semester. So I'll be pretty close to finishing my associates in arts degree. Good and for you. I decided to start working part time at Shoe Sensation while raising a little baby. He's currently asleep, which is nice. <laughs> it's it, it's trouble getting him to sleep anymore. He doesn't yes. really like to sleep that I can understand but holy cow you got your plate yeah, full right like full-time yeah. student working part-time and add a new baby on top of that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well congratulations that's fantastic and it's so like Vincent's Indiana it's such a small world like one of my battle buddies that I served with like they opened a gym there um and are really just helping people through you know, fitness and the, the mental health that it brings there. So what a crazy story. You like legit are the picture perfect um, example of a military brat. You've moved yeah. everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. You could say that. <laughs> and don't you have, a few times in my life. <laughs> hey, I recall from chatting with your dad, Michael, don't you have like two more brothers or something like that? And are all of you Marines or something like that? So... Well, my, I have two sisters. Um, my uh, little sister, she did everything I wanted to do growing up. I told myself I would never join any service or the Marine Corps because dad was always gone and I don't want to be like always right. gone when I had kids. And then I got bored going to school and my sister actually did everything I talked about. She went and played soccer in college, uh, got her, I think it was like bachelor's in teaching, probably like history or something. And she played soccer for like her four years in college. So that was, she kind of lived like the dream that I had wanted, but yeah. it, it, it's, it's how it plays out. Right. Um, and my older sister, she actually lives in Illinois as well. Um, she moved from North Carolina to Illinois. Uh, she's up North, but she also, she, uh, she got her associate's degree after having three kids. Nice. And uh, she's working as, I think like a teacher's aide or something right now, mm -hmm. but no, my, uh, how, do, how do I put it? My dad's new wife, they, her two sons are both in the Marine Corps, as well as she was in the Marine Corps. Right. Like, like, I'm pretty sure you heard my dad, uh, the whole thing about getting divorced. And what yes. That. Actually, now that you mention it, I do recall. I do recall. Yeah. You mentioned that you have 10 years to use your GI Bill. That's good. Like, um, as I mentioned, I, oh my goodness, how many times is my toddler going to interrupt us? <laughs> oh, my apologies. We've got to get through this before. Our next thing you know, we got a toddler and a baby on this call. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see. He usually sleeps. Well, he hasn't slept all morning, so he might sleep for like a two hour nap. We'll find it. Yeah, that's a nice nap. But in the, so I was in the Army National Guard and, um, they don't tell you, it could be different now. I hope that it is, but at the time uh, when I was in, they said that like you could only use your GI Bill while you were active. So when my, after like deployment and finishing high school and then it was time, my time was up, uh, you know, in the, in the National Guard, they do sick, they do like four years, six years active, two years inactive. It's like a technically an eight year commitment. And so Same. by the sixth year, um, I had not used all four years of my 
GI Bill. Well, the the veterans. I don't know if it's the G. Maybe I'm getting them mixed up. I think I think you might be thinking the veterans grant because I know well, I'm getting that Illinois. now. That's something okay. that you can use for a lifetime. But uh, I think I'm thinking of the National Guard grant, which is what different. what you have to use for tuition, and that was what you had to use when you were active. And so by the time it, my six years were up, and um, I hadn't used my four years of the National Guard grant. I was like, what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to take advantage of this free schooling. So I went ahead and I re-signed for three more. <laughs> Although I always thought that I would be a, a lifer and, you know, things change. You always that, think that, that but it, it just never really happens. I, What's I mean, the, well, some people. Right. What's the total amount of years you were in? So I did, because I had such a long school, I did five years of um, five years active. So I had a year of just basically school and yeah. then uh, four years within like the fleet. Mm -hmm. um, and then right now I'm still technically on three years in active. So we could, I could get a call any day and be like, well, it looks like it's uh, back to good old Uncle Sam. Right, you know? right, I know. But <laughs> yeah, so the Montgomery GI Bill, I'm one of the, one of the last year recipients that could actually use that because they, I think they switched over to post 9-11 mm -hmm. and um, they were breaking all of them and you have to like do math to figure out which one's better for you. But one loophole they really don't tell you is that when you're using the Montgomery, you can use that full however many benefits you get. And then you can even use an additional 12 months of post 9-11. They don't really tell you that, but when you do your research, you choose the Montgomery, you can finish out all that schooling and then get an additional 12 months. Whereas if you're just using post 9-11, you're only going to get yeah. that standard amount, which is why they switched. So. Right. I'm pretty sure I, I got the both of them because <clears throat> I was like a student forever, Anthony, ever. And actually, now I'm about to go back again. I haven't told a lot of people, but I uh, applied for a doc doctorate. doctorate program. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm waiting to hear on that. But anyway, anywho, enough about me. So back to Anthony and how much you have on your plate. I always ask my guests because I always ask about self care and like, what do you do for you? Because it's so important. Like our yeah. our daily lives are just taken from us, and it's important that we stay yeah. in great headspace. So what do you do, like, just for you and like it helps to fill your cup? I'm, I'm a huge nerd, uh, Me too. <laughs> as, as much as I hate to admit it sometimes, but as I get older, you start caring less what other people think and you just basically got all out there. But so I try to go to the gym at least twice a week. It's with the baby, it's gone down to like once or if I'm not working mm -hmm. or doing homework or something, but I, I do try to go to the gym. Uh, I actually went with my dad on Easter. That was that was fun. Hadn't gone in a couple of weeks because, mm -hmm. of, like I said, all, all my coworkers left, and you know someone's got to pick up that slack. So I get typically two days off a week from work, and when I'm not doing homework, I try and go to the gym or do something something physical because I feel like if I'm not moving, I, I used to be like, oh yeah, when I get out, I'm not. I'm just gonna relax. Mm -hmm. It never happens. Um, so I try to go to the gym, but when I'm not doing that. I, like I said, I am a nerd. I like to watch like anime. I used to play mm -hmm. like Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I get I get into some some of like the different cartoons every now and then. So I just I just binge watch like shows. Uh, yeah. Shows or movies. Um, I have a, a buddy that on like Thursdays he does like cornhole or bags or people call it different things. And uh, every other Thursday I try and make it out there do that Ooh, fine. And when, when the weather's nice in illinois i like to golf as i don't know if i showed you but outside you got the golf course out there and uh oh wow cool that was one of the big reasons why i decided to get the house i was just watching some golfers go by the other like uh -huh. five or ten minutes ago so that's that's pretty nice no doubt i didn't get to use it as much last year but that's great scenery yeah great i mean I, I feel bad i don't I don't want to leave Brianna home alone with the baby and I'm out there just golfing, <laughs> especially when she was pregnant. I, I felt like I needed to get her stuff and running errands. And you do, Anthony, you do. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's those are some of the things that I like to do. And like I like your honesty. We we totally shouldn't care about judge like people who are like judging and hating on other people are end up actually being the ones that are like way more insecure and like we're just we're just in the society shape to think that we need to be so judgmental instead of just having fun. And you don't remember it when you were like younger and then and now it's just all about like getting out there and I got family all over. So if we're not planning some kind of event or like playing basketball or yeah, your nephews always run around doing like soccer or something, it's, it can get pretty busy on my days off. So mm-hmm. I guess it's relaxing for me because I'm not doing homework or work, but it's most people would see it as you don't ever stop. <laughs> I right. Guess. And that's okay too. Okay. So, um, clearly you are pretty in touch with yourself to be able to make the this hard decisions of like, I'm going to go back to school while I have a baby and take a full time. So clearly you got some ideas of what's going to come in the future. Let's hear about it, Anthony. What should we expect out of you fellow Marine? Can I say no. fellow Marine, even if I'm not a Marine? Fellow, huh? fellow veteran. We'll just say that. Fellow veteran. I yeah, I guess that would be <laughs> the better term. But yeah. I don't know. We had we had some. I've met so many different people. And would like, you believe uh, I was a teacher? That I am a teacher, and this is my thirteenth year. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Go ahead. <laughs> what should we expect? Yeah, I mean, you? like I had a bunch of buddies in the Army, Navy, Air Force, and I guess we all just kind of lump ourselves together as one service at some point in time. Right. But, um, yeah, so plans for the future. I I never really knew what I wanted to do with school. And that's kind of my big reason why I joined the Marine Corps. Mm-hmm. But when I got out, I didn't really want to do what a lot of my friends did, which was do the same job while I was in. If I wanted to do that, I would just stay retired and then went back to the benefits and everything. But no, I, I didn't want to really be an aviation electronics technician anymore. Um, really wasn't my style as you can see I, I like to talk to people I like to communicate and that's where I kind of like narrowed it down I was like what could I see myself doing and really enjoying and so I was already 26 credits into my associates in arts degree so I was like well what can I do with that degree that'll be something that I'm more interested in and so I'm deciding to once I get my associates uh go to the next college which will be eastern hopefully everything goes according to plan and uh, get my bachelor's in communication and uh, minoring in business is what I'm thinking mm-hmm. um, for the pure fact of when I talked to some of the guidance counselors and whatnot they were like oh do you want to do business classes they're very boring very mm-hmm. math heavy and I was like I mean I like to talk to people I'm like, well there's communications and I was like all right we'll see what that leads to so I'm thinking of along the lines of like sales or marketing maybe Uh, something where I can interact with people because so many people these days are on their phones, on their computers, because whether they were scared of COVID or just that's where our technology is going, where you don't have to be Mm -hmm. a person anymore. But I get, I get bored very easily. I'm a very social interactive person and, you know, just being here on like the little computer screen, it's like, I don't do it a lot. So try to get it like set up and then this laptop's probably from like 2011 like I don't like to buy a lot of stuff Um, if it still works I'm going to try and maximize my usage out of it yes so maybe something in sales or marketing at some point in time Um, like I said I'm a backup assistant manager at a shoe sensation yeah and I kind of like it like the more I do it I was like maybe I can get a part-time job where it might be something that could turn into something more once I get my degrees Mm -hmm. so well, you you kind of remind me a little bit of my brother in the fact that like you speak well, you're comfortable with it. And like, that's what right. people relate to, especially like in business and marketing, like, and, and just conversations, right? Not just business and marketing, but so that's, that aligns with uh, your personality. That's awesome. We look forward to seeing it. Gosh, I feel like there's something else that I'm forgetting to ask, but um I do this a lot. I have brain farts all the time. I guess, is there anything else you want to add? We'll put in the show notes, any of your links and what, uh, anything you want us to put, uh, social media handles, but I 
think it's incredible how much you um, got going on and how inspired you are and driven. Well, Very you good. met my dad. <laughs> yes, yes. 30, so, 30 yes. years in the Marine Corps and he's, he still doesn't stop. Uh, he, he's retired, but he, he trying to get a hold of him can be difficult sometimes. He's always mm-hmm. volunteering or doing something. But yeah, he's, he's definitely a big influence in my life. One of my big mentors. And uh, one of my other ones happened to be my old manager at at where I was working, which was JM Test Systems, it was an old electrical place. But the big reason why I went there was my dad introduced me to one of his old Marines who ended up becoming the manager of this facility. And I grew strong contacts with him and he helped me while I was there, guided me, gave me some tips. But he originally was sales before he ended up managing that place. Um, shout out to Michael Tangman, also a former, uh, or once Marine, always Marine. But um, yeah, I think he got out maybe as like a gunny or something, but he's definitely helped me in my career path and uh, he, he's in sales and he just found another job that he really likes. So I don't know, that's, that's kind of where I steered a little bit because he has a similar personality. We're very outgoing, very mm-hmm. talkative. And that was one thing I was always thinking about was there's got to be something I want to do that can make money, but at the same time, going to school is like paying me more than if I were to get like a nine to five yeah. job right now. So. Right. Shout I out get to the guy, Bill. <laughs> no doubt. Hashtag thankful. <laughs> Everyone's always so surprised that like, they're like, you have two master's degrees. And I'm like, yes. Like, well, you, I mean, like, I, I'm glad I take mean? advantage of those. I, I did pay for one um, of my master's degrees, but um i'm very grateful to have the opportunity to take advantage of those education benefits which is why i'm excited to go get my doctorate i do have some of my veterans grant left and so i got i mean i have plenty of it left to be able to get a doctorate and since i'm a nerd and i like to learn i'm i'm about it about it oh alert alert we have a toddler coming in on that note Anthony, I will make sure I put everything in the show notes for people to stalk you and uh, <laughs> congratulations on the new baby and, 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 yeah, and schooling. Like that's so commendable. So, oh, she's got the hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am sorry for all the interruptions, but thank you for being yeah, flexible fine. with it. Yeah. I, I'll get to meet your dad in like um, a week or so. Are you going to that? Yeah, my, my goal was to go to the, the whole wall event. Um, I ha- had to request those days off, like I was saying. But uh, my, my goal is to be out there Saturday. I know I think they're setting up Friday and tearing yeah. down on Sunday. But with with Brianna and the baby, I don't want to take him too much too far. He's about right. to turn eight months soon. So trying to like limit his like mobility, but at the same time, make sure he's getting out there and doing everything he needs to growing and developing but yeah well, our goal is to be at at the wall of it um how long that's a good question right but yeah i'm i'm excited uh it seems pretty interesting to meet a lot of people oh yeah that was one thing i was going to ask you about was the book um i heard uh well i heard and i saw that you came out with your book finally yes yes thank you so, I had uh, seen I, I had seen that your dad said that he was excited for his copy. So I was like, did you guys order it? Because I'm over here like, oh my gosh, please tell me that he did not ask for a copy and I didn't write it down and I forgot. I have to double check myself on that because I have bad short-term memory. But I'm assuming he bought it on Amazon, but just wanted you guys to know that I have yeah. copies on hand and it's way cooler to get a signed copy from me and I could bring it to Marion. Um, I, so actually, say, I, made, I made my comment. I was like, I didn't know we get copies. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely, uh, I'll take one if you're handing them out. Um, I don't do a lot of reading, but when I do, it's, I'm usually interested in it and I usually finish it. So yeah, yeah. So it's for those of you listening though, it is on Amazon. It's on other places. Amazon has it down to like four something right now. They are a bunch of hustlers. Like yeah. I, 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 
that's less than like the price I buy it at. So of course I don't have it listed at four something. I, it, mine have been $10, but I'm at this point where like, I think I just need to go down to five. That way I get more people to read it and just look at it that way. Um, but for those of you listening, if you did not catch that, uh, the wall that we're talking about is the global wall on terrorism for mm-hmm. Iraq and Afghanistan, right? Um, I think that's part of the title. Be- as well but it's the global wall on terrorism the traveling wall a traveling memorial and they're coming to marion illinois on april 29th they arrive and then um the actual event i believe is the 30th yes and i I will only be there for the 30th because we will also be tagging our kids along unless i get a babysitter those of you listening if you want to babysit hit me up (laughs) (laughs) but um so you guys should check that out if you're in or around marion illinois because that's going to be pretty amazing to see and anthony i hope i get to meet you and i'll bring books with me hopefully i'm making it rain with books that day (laughs) more people to read it it does have pictures anthony so there's that i know you said you don't like to read it there's some pictures (laughs) in there we don't all eat crayons i'm just saying like and when you're a fl- <laughs> when you're a full-time student you don't want to read anything else not a sign not a newspaper nothing well good luck with everything i hope i get to meet you on the 30th and thanks for coming on to get yeah, no comfortable with the uncomfortable although that wasn't very uncomfortable so well we didn't bring up any of the issues so yes, correct <laughs> Correct. We'll have to do it again sometime. Absolutely. I'm game. Have a great day. Oh, oh there's the baby. That was <laughs> such <timing>. good timing. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs>